everyone welcome back to my show today we will be making crispy paneer manchurian and it, the paneer will be very crispy when you make it so now as you can see here we are heating the oil to fry the paneer if you want you can shallow fry it also and here is the paneer and here are the ingredients we'll be needing here garam masala is optional so then we have uh garlic chili and uh, some onion you can use spring onion also if you want here is some green capsicum and some spring in onions for uh, show and here the sauces soya sauce and red chili sauce and corn flour for coating and also tomato ketchup okay so now first we'll be coating the paneer so these are the things what you need to coat the paneer some soya sauce garam masala is optional and corn flour and some water so first we'll be putting some corn flour so put only how much you need don't put too much otherwise it will become too thick and then you won't be able to mix it so put a good amount of corn flour because this will be your main coating and if you have maida then you can put that also so put corn flour now we have put a good amount of corn flour now we will put little bit of garam masala this is handmade garam masala so just put little bit for some flavor so now put some uh, soya sauce put just little bit because you are going to be putting it in the sauce also so just put one cap just for little bit taste in the paneer so now after that now it's time to add just little bit water and now mix it well after that and if you want also you can put the chili sauce it is optional so just put very less right put very less because uh, it will be spicy and you'll have to put it at the end also so put very little otherwise your mouth will burn so now we will put some water and mix okay, so now the paneer is well coated now it's time to fry so the oil is very hot so put it inside the oil and fry it until it becomes crispy so don't overcrowd the pan so fry all the paneer okay so now the paneer is nicely fried just to less than 1 minute so now remove of all the oil and put it on the plate now fry the rest of the paneer in the same way now all the paneer is fried and ready and now first yeah, this is very hot oil and we use the same oil which we use for frying the paneer in this so now first put the garlic so put it all in so now the garlic you have to let it cook a bit because it is little bit raw so now after that you have to put the chilies chili is optional now next you have to put the onion and now you have to stir it well now this is stir nicely after the onion has cooked now we will put the green capsicum you can use whatever color but i like the green one so put the capsicum so this manchurian will be a gravy manchurian but you can also make it dry i'll tell you how 
So stir this well for some time and let it cook. Now the capsicum is stirred nicely. Now we'll be putting some soya sauce. So just put enough to give it some good color and some good taste. So this is what will be giving it the Manchurian uh, look and the Manchurian color, the dark color. So we are using here normal soya sauce. So mix it well now and you can always put more soya sauce. Now we will be putting some fresh tomato sauce and this is of Kisan and uh, put a good amount because this will uh, be giving the sweet flavor to your Manchurian. So after putting this, you have to always taste it how it tastes so that you know what is the flavor of it. So now mix it well. Now, as the color is not so dark, we will be putting some extra soya sauce. So now, we have to put a good amount of soya sauce until the color has become uh, good. And now, at the end, we will be putting some red chili sauce or even green chili sauce, but put very little. So just put a bit, don't put much, just put very little because it is very spicy. It is all the chilies concentrated together. And now mix it well. Next we will be adding the paneer. Now the sauce is ready. And now we will be putting the paneer. So put all of the paneer in. And even if some of the paneer has broken, it's fine because at the end it will be coated by the great Manchurian gravy. So if you want it to be more crispy, you can put the sauce on top of it. So here we are putting it inside. So to uh, make it crispy, you have to put the sauce on top when you are eating. So now also it will be crispy and we will put off all the paneer. Now after mixing the paneer well, here is the cornstarch slurry. It is just cornstarch mixed with water. So put it in. Uh, this step you don't need to do if you wanted a dry Manchurian. So it will be ready if you just wanted a dry Manchurian. So this slurry will give it the uh, good consistency and it will make the gravy thick. Now it's time for the garnishing. So I put a good amount of the cornstarch slurry and now it has become a curry. And now we will be putting the spring onions on the top. This will also give its own great taste. And here the dish is ready. You can eat it with fried rice, with uh, normal roti also, with anything you can eat it. And next we will be doing the tasting. Now the paneer Manchurian is ready. Now let's taste it. It is very hot. And it also looks very good. Mm -mm. This is very tasty and it is also crispy after so much of cooking. And it is very tasty. You sh must try this recipe at home. It is amazing. You can eat it with anything. Okay, bye everyone. See you in my next video. Bye.